كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers, my sisters, we do good deeds, we do bad deeds. We are human beings. We should be having more good deeds than bad deeds. And that makes a good human. Subhanallah. Allah Almighty knows that you're a human being and Allah Almighty knows that you will falter. But Allah Almighty expects you to do so many good deeds that they have drowned the bad. They, they are much more than the bad that you have done. Then you're considered a good person. If you faltered a few times in your life and you predominantly do a lot of good, Good news to you. But if you do a lot of bad and sometimes you do a few good deeds, then you have to work on yourself. The gift of Allah Almighty for all of us is that he doesn't just judge us based on one thing. Like, you know, if you've ever done bad, that's it, you're out. He says, if you've done bad, you can wipe it out by doing good. In al hasanati yudhibna sayyati minor sins are wiped out by the mere fact that you have followed them up with a lot of good deeds. So therefore, do good deeds. This is a powerful point. My brothers, my sisters, you've done something wrong. How do you, what do you do? You seek Allah's forgiveness, yes. But you do a lot of good deeds so that it eclipses the bad. It will actually eradicate the bad. Subhanallah. If you sought forgiveness, it's wiped out completely as well. Sometimes man feels that, you know, perhaps I'm not forgiven. Allah Almighty forgives you. Shaitan makes you think that you're not forgiven. But Allah grants you acceptance to do more deeds, more good deeds than bad. Then you're a good person. Now, you do find sometimes... Well, we'll pray by the way. We'll perhaps read a verse of the Quran by the way. We might just do a random good deed. And those are the two, three good deeds we've done. But the whole day was evil, bad, haram, sinful, whatever else it may be. Well, then we need to change. We definitely need to change that. Here, Allah Almighty beautifully says to us in Surah Al-Anbiya that he places the scales of justice on the day of judgment. So nobody will be oppressed. Verse number 47. Allah says, and we place the scales of justice. This is speaking of the day of judgment. On the day of judgment. So none shall be oppressed or wronged in any way. If you have done wrong to someone, it's going to be brought forth on the day of judgment. If someone has done wrong against you, it's going to be brought forth on the day of judgment. There is no way that you are going to be able to run away from it. There is no way that you're going to be able to hide it. There is no way that you're going to be able to deny it in any way. And similarly, if the person has forgiven you on earth before you died... Good news to you. So ask forgiveness from the people for what you've done against them and ask forgiveness from Allah for the general sins that you've committed. May Allah forgive us. So my brothers, my sisters, look at the justice of Allah. He says we're going to put a scale and we're going to serve the justice. What is this purpose of the scale? Well, the scale would have good on one side and bad on the other. So the general person is being judged by Allah. Allah has kept aside a whole day known as the day of judgment. So Allah is going to judge you. And subhanallah, if you have done more good than bad, then Allah says for you is paradise. And if you have done more bad than good, then Allah says you will need to go and pay in hellfire before you come to paradise. And Allah says, I may choose and decide to forgive if I will. 
And we're all hoping in the mercy of Allah, to be honest. We've heard he is the most merciful, the most forgiving. We believe in his names and qualities. He is the most compassionate, the most kind. So what would you like from a Lord who is merciful? What would you like from a Lord who calls himself on many occasions or in many places in Revelation, Arham Ar-Rahimin, the most merciful from all those who have mercy, the most forgiving, he calls himself Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, the most merciful. Two different types of mercy he mentions here, a specialized one and a general one. Amazing. He calls himself Tawwab, the one who accepts repentance, the one who is, subhanallah, the most kind, the most compassionate. What do you want from a Lord of that nature? A Lord who is with those qualities and names. We believe in this. So my brothers and sisters, when your good deeds are more than your bad deeds, good news. When your bad deeds are more than your good deeds, bad news, but Allah can still forgive you. Like we've said in a previous episode, besides shirk, that he has chosen not to forgive. He has said, I may forgive everything and anything else. It's okay. I may. It's up to me. So develop a link with Allah, be a kind person, be compassionate, build your character, build your conduct, engage in acts of worship solely for your maker in a correct way. Do acts of worship that will make you proud on the day of judgment when you see the result of these acts of worship that were beautiful because they were in conformance with what was taught by Allah through revelation. When you reconnect with revelation, you put aside all that which is not from Allah in terms of acts of worship. My brothers, my sisters, do you know that the scales of justice are so beautiful that as soon as they start tipping in the right direction, there is excitement. There is excitement and we already begin to feel that happiness and we are given the results of it. And Allah says, فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Those whose good, good deeds outweigh the bad, they, they are heavier, they are the successful. He didn't say those who don't have bad deeds. You may have, you are a human being. You may have a few bad deeds. We're not condoning them, we're not encouraging them, but we're simply giving you hope to say, this is Allah. This is how he will judge. MashaAllah. So you have a lot of good deeds, heavy ones. And guess what? He gives you the book of good deeds. When you get your book and you see you've succeeded, you're excited like a child who's just got his results of a big examination and he goes to his parents and the others and says, here's my announcement. I got all A's. MashaAllah. May Allah grant us straight A's. Amin. Amin. My brothers, my sisters, that is Allah. When the book of deeds is given to you and when you see the result on the scale, the excitement is so great. It reminds me of a person, for example, who, whose examination paper is being marked and they've crossed the 50% mark. Now they know they've passed, then they cross 60, then they cross 70, then they cross 80. Now they know from the C it's a B, from a B it's an A, from an A it's an A star, and they are passing with distinction and they're excited. But the excitement already started at 50%. May Allah Almighty grant us that beautiful excitement. So that is definitely the mercy of Allah Almighty. Now, Allah says in the Quran, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِنَ الصَّالِحَاتِ وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَلَا كُفْرَانَ لِسَعِيهِ A person who does good deeds and is a believer, we will never ever delete those, uh, you know, the effort of that person. It's not going to disappear suddenly. So remember, when you've done good, it will stay. When you've done bad, you can delete it. You, you, nobody would ever say, oh Allah, I did all these good deeds, can you just... Uh, uh, you know, take them away. I don't want the reward of them. You can't say that. Nobody in their sane mind would say that. But if it's sinful, then we definitely say, oh Allah, forgive our sins. So Allah is telling us, you won't lose your good deeds. The only time you may is if you have wronged a fellow human being and you have to pay with your deeds, then you're in trouble. 
But otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us very clearly, you know what, your good deeds, you just keep them intact. When you come on the day of judgment, you will find your good deeds. We're not going to delete them, but your bad, we, weigh, we may delete them even if you haven't sought the forgiveness. But you've arrived on the day of judgment, it's our discretion. Like I gave you the one exception of shirk, the rest of it, still the mercy of Allah encompasses all of that. May Allah have mercy on us. May Allah make us from among the hopeful ones. Allah knows we are weak. He knows we are human beings. He knows where we stand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us entry into paradise without reckoning. Ameen ya Rabbi. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر